Technology is awesome, isn't it? <laughs> Not that technology. I'm talking about the revolutionary technology invented hundreds of years ago called the printing press. Dude, that looks old. Oh, it's old. 600 years old. Before Gutenberg's printing press, if you wanted a book, someone had to copy it by hand. Only the richest people in the world could afford to buy books. Most people didn't have access to creative work at all. But the printing press changed all that. For the first time, mass production of books became possible and big ideas could spread fast. An author could finally reach a mass audience, but also, for the first time, an author's life's work could be copied and sold by anyone with a printing press. Does that seem fair? No way! So, in 1710, the British government passed the Statute of Anne. No unauthorized copying of a book for 14 years, with the option to renew for another 14. By the way, unauthorized means without permission. So authors had time to earn some money from their work, before it fell into the public domain. The idea was to encourage them to keep writing, which means even more creativity. Nice, huh? Nice. Fast forward 60 years. When it came time to write the Constitution, guess what? Our founding fathers included copyright. To promote the progress of science and useful arts by securing for limited times to authors and inventors the exclusive right to their respective writings and discoveries. What? The Constitution gives Congress the power to pass copyright laws. And as a result, authors have the right to get paid for their books and to decide who gets to make copies. That makes sense. If you put in all the time to write a really good book that people want to read, you should be able to get paid for it. And printing books was just the tip of the iceberg. Now I'm talking about your phone. In almost 600 years since Gutenberg's printing press, copying technologies have advanced from copy machines to tape recorders all the way to the internet and your phone. It's easier and easier to copy and distribute creative work all the time. And it's no longer just writings. Today, all it takes is just a few clicks to copy everything from music to video to software. In a world where copying is so easy, we still look to copyright to keep the creativity flowing. So what does this mean for me? What does it mean for you? For starters, it means you get a lot of control over your own work. When you make something, a story, photo, novel, poem, song, video, dance, instapic, tweet, app, video game, even the doodle you drew on your napkin at lunch. Sweet! If it involves creativity and is written down, recorded, or saved, then it's protected by copyright and, in general, you get to decide who can make copies, distribute copies, display or perform the work in public, and make spin-offs. We call these derivatives. Like when a book is made into a movie or characters from a movie are made into action figures. You don't have to be a famous singer or artist. Copyright applies to you, whenever you make something, whether you choose to share it with other people or not. This also means you can't just take someone else's creative work, like a song or movie or computer program, and post it online for everyone to download. And usually, you can't make copies or perform someone else's work without permission. These are illegal uses, and we call them infringements. Copyright protects creators from these kinds of infringements. Does that sound like a lot of protection? Well, it is. But copyright has some important limits built into it that also aim to encourage creativity. First of all, not everything is covered by copyright. Copyright does not protect facts and ideas. Facts and ideas are free for everyone to use. Same with government documents that include websites, videos, even pictures from outer space. No copyright on those. Second of all, Copyright isn't just a one-way street protecting authors. It also protects reasonable uses of copyrighted work without permission. This is called fair use, and we think it's so important it needs a video of its own. Third, remember how the Constitution talks about giving rights for limited times? Eventually, copyright expires, and all creations become part of the public domain, where they are free for everyone to copy and share. In a world where technology makes it super easy to publish and share our creative work, it's more important than ever that we respect each other's creativity. Our online communities work best when we are free to express ourselves, and we can trust that those expressions are protected, with limits of course. So, a big thank you to technology and copyright and everything else that encourages free expression and creativity.
What are you going to create next?